Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Tak kira hau mana kamu. Seperti mana saudara Propasmi. Saya pun menganggap bahawa forum hari ini merupakan satu forum yang kecil-kecilan di kampung tu. Tetapi alhamdulillah nampak gaya rakyat Malaysia sekarang ini begitu peka. We become very aware of politics and political developments in spite of the hantu kopek eh? <laughs> saya dulu bila kecil di Kelantan dia panggil hantu kopek bukan hantu tetek eh? <laughs> tapi lebih kurang sama lah dia cakap dengan orang Kelantan kopek itu uh, tetek je lah sama <laughs> I had a big laugh today saya ketawa besar pagi tadi yep. uh, hari Isnin kita seronok, kita gembira hari Selasa kita tersentak, terkejut uh, tapi uh, in spite of that, I managed to uh, howl in laughter this morning after I read the Star or is it the Straits Times when uh, Datuk Sri Zamri likened himself to Gandhi and Mandela. And I say this with no intention to sound racist, no intention to belittle my brothers of the darker complexion. <laughs> but a dark man doesn't a Gandhi or Mandela make. <laughs> In spite of Barisan National and all their efforts, to drive a wedge between us. The Malays, the Chinese, the Indians, based on racial and narrow religious sentiments. I'm very happy today to see all the races equally represented. This promises a great future for our country. And this afternoon I was with my father, who is also the father of my brother, Sharia. And I told him that uh, I'm not one who's, suspicious, uh, who's uh, superstitious, right? But I think the Rahman theory is true. And Najib definitely is the last Prime Minister. The more they try to put things right by themselves, the more they're making the public angry and hate their actions. I mean, there's this one man who the court has declared is the rightful Menteri Besar and has never ceased to be the Menteri Besar. Dr. 
materialism. He never ceased to be in the materialism. And then you go to the court and you take an injunction for a stay of execution, which all it says is that we acknowledge he is the Menteri Besar and he has never ceased being the Menteri Besar. But we just don't want him to hold on or, you know, uh, be given or be allowed to take his right. <laughs> and you do it with such pride, you know. Come out on TV, in the papers and say, you know, respect the courts and respect the legal system and respect the judgment. And the judgment says, you are not the Menteri Besar. surprised he doesn't understand the judgment because he thinks it's Mandela and Gandhi. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. Now. So I, I think we, are, we have a very bright future for our country. We are developing a new political culture, a culture that is based on a belief that unity can only stand where there is justice. I agree to most, if not all, of what uh, our uh, Mr. K. Raghunath mentioned yeah, as uh, the kind of nation and the kind of uh, political, political situation that we want to see in the future. Yeah. But we just have to realize that it's not going to be easy. I mean, just wanting it doesn't mean that it's going to happen. And I see that all that's happening currently is part and parcel of the political education that we have to, we have to go to. Yeah. I mean, all these uh, things that makes your stomach turn, you know, seeing what's happening in Pera and all that sort of thing. But there is no shortcut, you know, we have to go through, we have to do this political education for our people, we have to, uh, how do you say, free them from the, from the uh, prejudices that's been uh, instilled in them for over 50 years. Yeah. It's not easy, yeah. Yeah, but we have to go through it and uh, we have to be very positive, yeah. let us not allow any of these temporary failures yeah, to dampen our spirit. Yeah. As I said, it is something which is inevitable. Yeah. We are in the right direction. We have developed great trust between the races, between the political parties. Yeah that were at one time so far apart, right? And to this, I, I have to give credit to uh, Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, to uh, Parti Keadilan Rakyat. I have to give credit also to uh, Lim Kit Siang for having the courage to uh, partner with PAS. Yeah? <laughs> And credit to pass for being able to partner with DAP. <laughs> I mean, we were so full of mistrust and prejudices before this. Yeah? So much so, as a result of the kind of atmosphere that was created by uh, Barisan National, before March 2008, you know, I mean, nobody thought what they see now is possible. That PAS can sit together with the AP, can sit together with PKR, and put it all aside. Work together so that a more just and a more open political environment can be created. 